Okay, we are going to do completing the square. We're going to talk about completing the square one more time. Guys, you know basically everything you need to know already about completing the square. I'm just going to show you slightly more difficult problems so that you can see them in, in action. What was the one criteria that I said you have to have in order to use completing the square? Um, A equals zero. A Almost. E equals 1. Yes, A equals 1. Because yeah. if A equals 0, you'd have no X squared. Because right. 0 times X squared is 0. Yeah. Right? So the A is equal to 1. You must have A equal to 1. That's absolutely essential. I hope you can see orange on this thing. I think you can. So, um, all right, so we'll try one. We'll try this one. We're going to try 2X squared plus 20X. Minus a <coughs> equals zero. Now I'm going to say I want to solve this by completing the square. Does a equal one? No. So I have to make a equal one, and there's only one way to make a equal one. I have to divide everything by two. Even if two doesn't go into the other numbers, I still have to divide everything by two if I'm going to use completing the square. That's where completing the square gets messy. But this was 11x, and this was 9. Suddenly, I've got fractions or decimals, right? That makes it more complicated. But I'm being nice on myself right now for this one. Last year, last year, on the homework, is this what we were supposed to do? Because I added 8. Wait, I did that too. I added On the homework, on, you, that was correct. That was correct. Uh, on the homework, on the homework, none of the they all had a equals one, so you didn't have to worry about the two. Here. But I'm saying now you have to worry about the two because the homework tonight you're gonna have some like this and some like last week. I was also confused on the last problem, yeah. so, so I couldn't. The last show, page was confusing. Sure. Right, that last problem was hard. And I didn't do the last one. I'll, I'll go over that. I'll go over that. Two. All right. So, because, because completing the square is difficult when this number is not an even number, right? That's what happened with the last one. I, I threw in one that was not an even number, so then you had, had to deal with that. Exactly. Um, uh, so, I need to get this equal to 1. So, I'm going to divide everything by 2. Divide everything by 2, including the 0, which is just 0 anyway. So that gives me x squared plus 10x uh, minus 4 equals 0. Okay, now can I use completing the square? Yeah. Yes, yeah. because I've got a 1 in front of the x squared. All right? Are you writing over there? For sure? Yeah. Okay, what do I do first? Tiana, what's my first step? Divide by we did we just did that. What's my first step? Man? My second step. So. Yes, good. Because I'm gonna we want to create a perfect square. That's the key. We want to create the perfect square. That is not a perfect square right now. So we're gonna get rid of this junk that is in the way. Add four, add four. Whoops. Okay. X squared plus ten x uh, plus Faith. Have you noticed that this is always going to be a plus? Yeah. Have you noticed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. even if this were negative here, negative squared becomes plus. So you're always adding when you do the completing the square. Equals uh, 4 plus the other line, the other space. Okay, so Jason, what would I do now? Yeah, so how'd you get that? You took five. half of 10 is 5. And I'm going to put plus 5 here in the circle. And then 5 squared is 25. Is my done? Where do I have to put over here? Yes. I got 25 <coughs> over here. So suddenly, now I have created a perfect square. So Lila, how would I factor it? Okay. Right. That's why I write this because it tells me immediately how to factor, how to factor it. Right. Equals twenty nine. Equals twenty nine. 
Okay. Now, um, Lewis, what do I do now? Square. Square root them? Right. Okay. So we're going to square root both sides. That gives me x plus 5 is equal to equals what? What do I have to put in front of it? Plus or minus the square root of 29. Um, all right, Christian, now what do I do? I want to know what x equals, not x plus 5. Subtract 5, right? Subtract 5, subtract 5. So that's going to give me x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 29. And that's my answer. Unless I needed to graph it, then I would get out my calculator and find out what the square root of 29 is and have my two answers, right? Okay? Pretty straightforward, right? It wasn't hard. We just had to divide by 2. Everything by 2. All right. Can I erase? Can I erase? Everybody's got it down. Okay. Now let's try. Let's try. Um, let's try this one. Negative x squared minus 5x equals 1. All right, now I'm putting my, making myself work harder. This is actually a harder problem. What do I have to do first? What is AF oh, equal again? Yes, because it has to equal 1, not negative 1. It's got to equal positive 1. So, how do I do that, though? Say, say it again. Yeah, so I could I could either times everything by negative one or I could divide everything by negative one, doesn't matter. And if I did that, then basically every sign would change. Every single sign in the entire equation. So if I multiplied the whole thing by negative one, it would become positive x squared plus 5x equals negative 1, right? And since I'm completing the square, I want to leave the space. So I'm going to put plus space equals negative 1, plus space, okay? So now what would I do? Isabel, what would I do? Okay, 5 is an odd number, right? So you could do 2.5. My recommendation is actually you do it as a fraction. Um, and you'll see why in a second. Um, if I divided 5 by 2, I would have positive 5 halves. You agree with me? All right. What's 5 halves squared? I can do this in my head. I can't do 2.5 squared in my head. I don't know. You know what? 5 over 4? I don't know what it is. It might be. Wait. I don't know what 2.5 squared is, but I know what 5 halves squared is. It's 25 fourths, right? I square 5 and I square 2. So it's going to be plus 25 fourths. That's really easy. So I'm going to put plus 25 fourths. Okay. Um, now I can do my, immediately I can do my factor it, which is x plus 5 halves squared. Okay, equals, now I've got this, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 4 fourths, right? So I could change negative, negative 1 to negative 4 fourths, right? So I've got 25 fourths, I'm going to subtract 4 fourths from it. 21 fourths. So I'm going to have 21 fourths, okay? And I am going to now square root both sides. Um, so square root of both sides. So I've got x plus 5 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. Because the square root of 4 is 2, right? You see what I did? I just square rooted the 21 and square root of 2. Alright, now all I have to do is 
subtract five paths. Five paths, right? Yes. Uh, subtract five paths. So that's going to give me x is equal to negative five. Since, well, negative five paths, I'll do it in two steps. Um, plus the square root of 21 over 2. Or, or x is equal to negative 5 halves minus the square root of 21 over 2. So that could mean I could do negative 5 plus the square root of 21 over 2 or negative 5 minus the square root of 21 over 2. Or I could have just written it like this. Negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. Any one of those are, sick are correct. It looks like a nightmare, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it does. I mean, yeah. like, if I had to deal with that, do I have a calculator? Does anybody have a calculator? Yeah. Somebody, you got one right there? Okay. So, so remember, remember, these are where it's crossing the x-axis, right? No, sorry. This is the, these two answers are where it's crossing the x-axis. And if I don't need to graph it, I don't need to know exactly. I can just leave it like that. But if I had to graph it, it would be helpful to know. So what is the square root of 21? 4.58. Four point five. Okay, four four point five eight. We'll just do that. So it's negative five plus four point five eight divided by two, or negative five minus four point five eight divided by two. So what is four point five eight minus five? Four point five eight minus five. Alright, divide that by 2. Negative 0 0.21. Negative 0 0.21. Okay, so that tells me it crosses just to the left of the origin, right? And then what is, okay, so that's going to be, neg what's negative 9.58 divided by 2? negative 4.79. So this one crosses basically, and this is a this is a negative one, right? So is it going to be happy face or a frowning face? Frowning face. So there we've got we've got one somewhere around here and one that's one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be one here. So it's going to be a frowning face, it's going to be something like that, right? So we have a basic idea. I haven't yet taught you how to graph these, so that's that's another lecture. All right. We don't erase it. Erase it. <laughs> Sorry. Can you guys see all that? Yeah. Most of the time, though, you'll just use an answer like that.
All right. Here's our next one. Immediately I see it's negative in front of the x squared. I don't like that. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1, right? And that gives me 5x squared minus 40x plus 105 equals 0. All right? I also noticed that the 5, the a is not 1, the a is a 5. I'm kind of doing this one fast because I think you guys know it now, right? So I'm going to divide everything by 5. Divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. Okay? So I've got x squared minus 8x, right? Plus uh, 21, right? Is that right? Equals 0. So now we're ready. We can move our 21 over. So I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides. That'll give me x squared minus 8x is equal to negative 21. Okay? What's half of, okay? And I've got a, I forgot to leave my space. So plus a space, plus space. What is half of negative 8? Negative 4. So I write that there. And then four, negative 4 squared is 16, right? Positive 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So that's, I'm going to factor this as x minus 4 squared is equal to negative 5, I believe. I don't have to go any further. What do I notice? What do you notice? If I square rooted both sides, what would be the problem? I have a square root of a negative number. Impossible. Right? So, I immediately write no solution. Because I can't have the square root of a negative number. No, can't do that. Right? So, um, anyways, so that's it. So that was that one. So I'm going to, I think that's enough. So I'm going to. You ought to erase the.